Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here for a very special Let's Make Art Matter. So what that is, is we have a postcard, so this is a smaller piece of paper and we paint to uplift someone in our community. So today we are painting for Patty. We'll show you a picture of her and her dog, Pearl. Aww. So Pearl is a multi poo. Oh. I hope I'm saying that right. Multi poo. Multi poo. Mul <laughs> multi poo. So he's a type of dog, and he actually passed away last fall. And Patty, at the sim at the same time, also lost her home to Hurricane Ian. Oh no. And so we are here together to paint for her, to uplift her, to show her some support. She seems like an awesome human, mm -hmm. and she was a volunteer fireman. Whoa. She also, let's see what else, she was a nurse and a paramedic. What? So she helped so many people. So let's come together and paint something for her to give her an art hug. Let's do it. So what I wanna show you is that we showed you a few photos of both her and her dog. And so I want to show you that you can do a few different things for your own painting. This one I was playing with if you wanted to do one where it involves her and her dog. But I wanna actually show you for our actual tutorial today how to just focus on her dog. Cause I think that'd be really cute since this is an honor of her dog and how to draw him. So I taped my paper down cause I'm gonna be painting the whole thing. And I'm gonna start with my pencil. And actually, we're going to start with our motto, because that's yes. what we like to do here. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Huh. Okay. Now, the first step is, is you are going to draw a circle for the shape of pearl. Now, I'm going to draw a little bit bigger up here at the top. So again, I'm changing what this example is, and you can do the same thing, or if you wanna draw uh, Patty as well, you could do that. Just change the orientation, or you draw Patty right here a little bit smaller, and then Pearl over here. But I'm just gonna show you how to draw the dog, because this is fun. Okay, so draw a circle for the head. Now, let's see, looking at the ears of Pearl. They're a little bit wider, so maybe draw a curve and a curve out here. And then they kind of come down right here. So we're gonna paint, we're gonna paint it, but I want you to just give a kind of a generic shape. Then looking at the nose. So the nose is kind of a, another circle more on top, or at the bottom I mean, but on top of it. So I'm gonna draw a little curve right there and it kind of goes over, so I'm gonna erase this part. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, I know in the photo, we're gonna show the photo really quickly, we don't see Pearl's body, but Pearl looks like a little bit smaller dog, so I'm gonna draw the body right here. So start on the left side, and you're gonna draw a line down, and then on the right side, you're gonna draw a line down. So this is gonna be a sitting Pearl. And then you're gonna draw a curve out this way, and then have it flat, and then do it the other side, so curve out this way and have it be flat. And then you're gonna draw a line in the middle. So see how those are the front legs? Wow. Then I realize we might add the lines right here so you can see what we're doing. Then what we're gonna do is on the left side over here is I'm gonna draw a curve. And then I'm gonna add another curve here for the other foot, so over here. I'm gonna do the same thing as come out and then flat. And then over here, I'm gonna draw a curve or a line down. It's a little bit different, but it's all good. And a curve and then the foot. So there you go. Wow. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> you just did that. So that is our pearl dog. And here's the thing. You could make this into any dog. If you wanna paint more of these, you can turn that into any dog later on. Fun. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I want to, I'm thinking of our milk and cookies project that's similar, so I'm gonna paint a blue sky background and then we're gonna paint white on top of it, just like we did here. So to do that is I'm gonna use a lot of white and then mix in a little bit of blue and then grab your paintbrush, dip it in water, 
but hit it off to the side because you don't need a lot of water. And I'm going to mix this. Ooh, so do you see how strong that blue is? Mm-hmm. Very strong. We can use that. If you want to make it lighter, you can use a lighter blue. But I'm just going to paint onto my paper. Now, I know that pearl is white, so you might think, okay, I'm just going to paint around pearl, but I actually want you to paint on top because then the white will really, really pop. I'm gonna add a little bit white to kind of mix it up to make the sky a little bit lighter. Okay. Now, here's the thing. This is wet, so we're gonna to need to let this dry. So either you go take a snack break or you use a tool like this. But before I do that, I want you to make sure that this brush has paint on it. So we need to clean it off. Otherwise that paint will harden on your paintbrush. So clean that off, put it on your towel and then meet me back after yours is dry. Okay, so now mine is fully dry and I'm gonna squeeze white on my palette because Pearl is a beautiful white dog. And here's what I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna use my smaller brush to make a lot of these fur strokes. So I'm gonna dip it in water. And if you can't see your pencil lines, you can draw it again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw short strokes Let's see, Pearl's ear. Oh, actually this is a good lesson. Do you see how on the side cam it's a little bit, it's kind of more like watercolor. Mm -hmm. So that means I had a little bit too much water, unless you like that look, but I had a little bit too much water. So I don't need, so I need to dry my brush on my paper towel so it's not super wet and then I can paint. So do you see how I'm doing these small strokes to paint the fur? Now yes. the nose, it looks like, or this center part of the, of Pearl's face kind of goes from the center out. Is that right? Yeah. So my strokes are going in that direction. So they went that way and then they're going this way. I know it looks like, um, a puff ball right now, <laughs> but when we add black, it'll look good. So I'm going to draw the ears over here. Maybe make these ears come a little bit out a little bit more. And then we got the front nose part right here. So I'm just drawing short little strokes like that. And then let's do Pearl's body. And then the feet. And so I like it, oh, Oops, I dipped in some blue. I like the look where you can see a little bit of the blue shining through. So that's why we're doing these small strokes so it really looks like fur. So it looks real. Okay, look at that. There's our cute little puff ball. Cute. Now, we need to let this dry again because we need to do our black outline next. So clean your brush, either take a snack break or use your tool mm -hmm. and I'll meet you back. Sweet, so now my painting is fully dry. So next step is grab a pen. I'm gonna use my black pen. And I think what will help is we're gonna start with the front nose part, this part right here. So we're going to start here. So when you do this, I want you the same way as how you were doing short, small strokes with your brush. Let's try that with our pen. So I'm going to draw short, small strokes around the nose part. Maybe draw some lines because it's like fur like that. So do you see I'm doing small strokes like that? Yeah. Then we can do the, I guess we'll just do the nose part. So we'll do either like a triangle or kind of a shape like that. 
and then leave some of the nostrils, so cute. <laughs> okay, so then let's have a photo of Pearl up. Maybe Pearl can go right here so we can see what else we're looking at because that may help you in drawing. So I'm going to, what I'm looking at is kind of, there's the top of the heads right here, the lines are over here, and then Pearl's ears are kind of curvy. So maybe draw some curvy lines like that. So by doing these short strokes, it's helping, it's still a white dog, but it's helping it pop a little bit more and us see that texture. Then I'm gonna do the eyes last. So let's do Pearl's legs. So we're gonna do that line down, a line down. I know you can't see it, so we're gonna kind of do it again. Do the curve, middle, curve, middle. Draw a line up. There's the front legs. And then you can see I'm not perfectly tracing over my white, so you might have a little bit more white showing. And then we're gonna do the line down and then the curve for the foot, line down, curve for the foot, and then we'll do some short lines <laughs> for the toes. It's a cute little puppy. <laughs> Look at Pearl. Okay, and then Pearl's eyes. Let's show that photo again of Pearl. Pearl has these big, beautiful, round eyes, so, and they're popping up from the nose. So I'm gonna draw them right here. So draw two circles. And then for these, for eyes, I'm gonna draw another circle inside like that on both of them. And then maybe a little one right here, like that. And then you're gonna color it in. It gives a little glisten and kind of this cute look to Pearl. There we go! Cute. <laughs> now, the other thing is so we know it's Pearl. Do you see how Pearl has those really cute bows? in her hair, mm -hmm. we can mix. Actually, I already have blue right here. They're kind of a little bit of a turquoise. So let's see what happens. I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm gonna mix a little bit of my ochre. So if you wanna add a little ponytail, or not ponytail, a bow. There we go, it's kind of a similar color. So, right, I'm just gonna use this. And right here, I'm just gonna paint a little bit more right there, and then the bow would be right there. A little color. There we go! <laughs> Cute! Nice! So, this was awesome. And Patty, if you're watching this, your daughter nominated you, so she's awesome. And we want you to know that we are here supporting you. I hope these paintings of Pearl bring you some joy and remembering how awesome she was for you. We're actually gonna show one more photo. This is Pearl and Patty, and they like to ride bikes together. So I thought that's really cute and fun to think of. So thank you community, kids community for joining us for this. And I hope you enjoyed painting. So again, you can do this painting again. You can do your own dog if you have your own dog. And this was awesome. So please don't forget on the back, of your your postcard the address will already be there for patty and it will have a stamp so write a little note and don't forget to put it in the mail and mail it off to her so this is awesome so thank you for being a part of this always remember that you are brave kind and so creative and we will see you next time